Hello guys, Yes here from Your Power Fitness. So here's another video about my weight loss journey. And this one is in the period of March till April. So I will show you guys the progress of this month. So let's get this video started. Yeah guys, um, this was a difficult month for me because I had a few weight loss plateaus, which really sucks, you know. So I started off with 82 kilograms and I'm currently weighing um, 80.8 kilograms. So I lost 1.2 kgs. And I know guys, that isn't much. You want to lose about two kgs, so you want to lose 0.5 kilograms each week. But yeah, my weight loss wasn't as fast as I wanted it to be this month. You are working on your diet, you're trying to get results, and when the results are not coming, you feel a bit disappointed. But don't give up, you know, just keep grinding and you will still see results. So for me personally, I was at 2100 calories and I reduced it a bit for 2000 calories. In that period, I saw a decretion in my weight, but it wasn't going as fast as I wanted it to be. And it even um, plateaued for a bit so I didn't have any results and after that I was just like you know guys fuck this shit I'm going to drop in 200 calories so after that I was at 1800 calories 1800 calories is really not much calories for me personally I had less energy I had less strength in the gym um, I wasn't performing as I should be my energy levels went down and overall I just felt really shitty of course my weight loss was going a bit faster after I dropped in 200 calories but after that first week my weight loss uh, decretion was still not that good it was still decreasing very slowly Slowly. not that great and certainly not results that I wanted for 1800 calories and I couldn't sustain 1800 calories it was just not sustainable for me I had huge cravings I just knew that if I kept doing this low calorie diet that I would just have a food binge I just wanted to prevent that so I stopped the diet and I, I stopped with eating 1800 calories because it wasn't sustainable for me I was afraid that I would binge. When you start binging, you know, things can go very wrong. So I prevented that by stopping the diet and I just knew this was not sustainable for me. Also, your metabolism slows down, your leptin levels drop, your hormones will get fucked up. Those things happens when you are very low in calories and at a certain point you have to make the decision to do a diet break and that's what I'm doing right now I'm slowly um, going to my maintenance level I'm slowly trying to find out what my maintenance level really is because my maintenance level of course dropped a bit after my diet so uh, I'm currently searching for my maintenance level I increased my calories with 600 calories and now I'm currently around my maintenance level so I have to wait a week if my weight goes up I certainly know that um, that I'm at my maintenance level or above my maintenance level when you are doing a diet break um, of course you're gonna increase in weight this is because of the glycogen levels this is also because you have more food in your digestive system um, you have more glycogen you retain more water so those are uh, things which will help to increase your weight so don't be afraid if you have one pound extra body weight or your two pounds extra or your kilogram extra uh, it's normal it's just because you have more um, water retention you have more glycogen and you have more food in your digestive system so don't worry too much about this when you are going to your maintenance level or if you are doing a diet break those things will happen when you are increasing calories so yeah guys I'm now going to do a diet break uh, I'm going to enjoy the calories after two or three weeks when my hormones are restored when my leptin levels are restored when my metabolism is restored when I feel much better overall, when I feel more energized and when I have more power in the gym, then I will do my second cut. This cut will have a duration of two months because in two months I'm going on vacation. So I want to look as good as possible in that vacation and I'm going to really try to get the best results in that cut because I want to look good during my vacation and of course I finally want to see those apps. I want to see my own apps and I want to lean down uh, this has never happened to me before. If you see this photo right now, you can see that I, I was very fat previous year. I wasn't looking as good as I do now. And yeah, I never have been this lean already. So going even uh, lower in body fat percentage will be really amazing for me. If you can see your own abs, if you can see much more muscle definition, that's really great for your physique. But anyways, that's all in the future for now for this video. 
I want to tell you guys how my diet went this month. Well, of course, uh, I had some weight loss plateaus, but I also decreased in my weight because I also dropped in 200 calories during this month. And that of course gave me a better weight loss results. So this is one month of my progress. I don't know if you can see this properly, but if you look here, I started off with 82 kilograms and my weight really was not going down. So after dropping in those calories, you can really see that I dropped a lot of weight and after that it stalled for a bit unfortunately the weight loss was not going down for a long period so after a while i hit another plateau it was no longer sustainable for me i felt really shitty i felt really hungry i hit a weight plateau at the end of the month and this is not uh, because i wasn't doing my diet properly this was because i did a diet break my weight went up a bit but this is glycogen and water retention this is also uh, more food in my digestive system and as you can see um, at the end of the month i was weighing 80.8 kilograms and i started off with 82 kilograms so i lost one 1.2 kilograms this month which is actually a really nice result um, if you want to be really on point you want to lose 2 kgs each each month I didn't lose 2 kgs this month but uh, I hit a weight plateau and I was still able to lose some weight this month maybe not the best results but I still had progress so that's really great I will also show you my progress in this video so you can see how my body looks right now yeah it really sucks that I have to do a diet break because I really want to get leaner but yeah you know uh, losing weight is not a short sprint losing weight is a marathon so you have to be patient even when you are hitting weight plateaus be patient with your diet don't um, try to rush things don't decrease your calories too fast because as you can see at a certain point it's no longer sustainable so i'm going to do a diet break and i'm doing this because this is the best optimal way of losing weight restoring your hormones restoring your leptin levels and restoring your metabolism so in the future you can lose more weight so my next diet update isn't going to be very exciting my next diet update is going to be about my diet break and at the end of april i'm going to start cutting again so that will be really fun i will really keep you guys updated on my next cut and how i'm progressing so i'm really trying to restore my metabolism right now and now currently eating at the wrong maintenance when i'm not increasing in weight i'm even going to eat above my maintenance to really boost my um, metabolism so this is called a diet break and i'm certainly going to enjoy this but i really will still track my calories to not overeat and gain weight that is something i definitely don't want to do so i'm going to be really careful but for now guys this was my diet update um, thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next videos